Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we start our career with Football Manager 2018 on this channel. I originally wanted to continue my streak of doing a Roma save, but to tell you the truth, I told you I did have some news for you. A little while back, a group of guys and myself started chatting about what to do about an old dormant Football Manager channel that someone still managed. After a while of talking about it, he actually he basically just gave us the keys to the kingdom and let us have our way with it. So, while I will keep maintaining Sefian's world here on this channel, I will also be managing the Football Manager Blog YouTube channel. You can see the websites and YouTube channel on the screen. So if you enjoy what you see here, head on over to FMB's channel and subscribe there as well for more wonderful FM stuff. But with all of this, I wanted to try something different, so Roma was kind of out, for now at least. Who knows what I'll do later. But my hope right now is to not let the two channels get in my way and to keep posting here two or three times a week, as well as there, so I will do my absolute best to keeping that up. For now, what I will be doing is a Leipzig save over there, as well as some collaboration work with some of the other guys on the channel, but for here I'll be doing some similar stuff. I'm going to get back to the fantasy drafts I did a one-off before on FM17, maybe some against the eye, some against real actual human beings, I know, right? But I'll also have my own save here as well, and that save will be, drumroll please... A.S. Monaco. Y'all know I'm a huge Liverpool fan, and during the summer we were tied to a couple of their players at least. From Mbappe, yeah right, to Thomas Lamar and Kaita Balde. Add to that list well-established players like Jamutinho, Jovetic, and a certain wonder kid named Yuri Tielmans. I really wanted to see how this team could progress through the season under my own tutelage, I guess. Of course, that probably means Leicester City all over again. Top to the league, and then scraps. Of course, Monaco are the reigning league one champions, so hopefully I can do justice to them and continue their climb through Europe's elite. So, with intros out of the way, let's dive headfirst into this save. What are my main objectives? To be honest, this is just going to be a standard first off save for me, Champions League or bust. But as always, that can easily change depending on my mood or yours. Do you think it's too hard or easy? Do you want me to make a new move? We'll take this series one step at a time. Of course, there are plenty of other things that I want to do before FM19 comes out. Another stab at City of Liverpool is high on that list, so definitely stay tuned for that. But for now, we have Monaco. Let's get into this team. I love how speedy this log, this setup is. 17 was just a pain in the ass. So, welcome to AS Monaco. The board would like to assure you that you can rely on their full backing and are looking forward to working with you. Uh, I don't really care, 29000 per week, that makes no difference to me. Let's attend this meeting. So, great, let's get the meeting started. Uh, as I mean, these are the exact same. That's great, I'd like some more knowledge. Uh, I don't, let's see. We have no philosophies which will be judged on. Okay, I don't feel a meeting was required right now, maybe later on, after a season or two. Traditional, we'll hold a press conference, that's fine. And that's it. Cheers, mate. Okay, so Monaco transfer list. Mbappe is gone next season for 160 million pounds. Wow. So I gotta make it through this season just to get that. That's gonna be a transfer kitty and a half. Uh, I wonder if that's all I'm gonna get or if I'm actually gonna get more. So, we got a few people out on on injured list. Uh, four to five months for Badia Shili. Bosilia is out for four weeks to two months. And why can't I pronounce any of these dang names? So there's your background. Founded in 1924, Monaco, a professional club, currently playing in the Ligue 1 Conforama. Okay, I haven't heard that one before. Uh, the club played their home games at Stade Louis II and possessed superb training facilities and superb youth facilities. So great, we're going to get some good regens coming in. I am not even going to try and pronounce these French names. Wow. Leipzig in Germany, now Monaco in France. I cannot pronounce squat. Maybe I should just go back to the English. So, look at that. With just 21000 per week left in the payroll budget, there isn't much room for maneuvering. But we do have $34 million transfer budget, so I can fluff that a little. Uh, there's not a great deal of quality of depth outside the first team among players currently at the club. But look at this. We have a lot of positives here. We have one of the best scouting teams in the competition, best coaching teams in the competition. Yeah, I'm not going to touch the coaches right now. So, Glick is a good center back. Sidibe is a good right back. So we've got we've got a good set, uh, a good set of teams. So let's see the squad. So you can see current ability is good. It's not amazing. Um, you're but 
look at this potential. Three possible five stars. Thomas Lamar, who I'm sure is going to be gone next summer, if not this summer. I'm really... I'm going to keep a price tag on him that's absolutely huge. $25 million, No, thank you. Um, but... 20, he's 21 and he's got a wage of 89000 per week. Holy crap. So I can't give him a new contract just yet. But you've got Jorge at, at five stars. Yuri Tillemans at five stars. You've got a bunch looking at four. So we've got a pretty good team. Jovetic, I've, I've not been a huge fan of since his Man City days. But now, let's see. Let's look at the under 19s and see what we have there. So potential, well, we got a couple of good potential ones. Nobody with a good enough ability to get into the first team, though. So that is going to be something we need to look at. Maybe some youngsters that can be kind of on the fringe of the first team. So transfers will be interesting. Let's look at the dynamics. This is a new feature. The players have not yet developed a good level of understanding with match cohesion. So obviously that'll change... Um, Team's collective mental state is slightly disappointing at the moment, okay? This will slightly impact players' position during matches. So hopefully with the hopefully we'll get some wins during preseason and that will change for the better. So locker room atmosphere is good. We're currently have no unhappy players at the club. There are no players at the club that would consider to be very happy though. So we'll have to work on that. And leadership support, you've got a strong influence over the number of players. Good. I do come in with the highest level of coaching badges, so hopefully they see me as a former international and, and are excited to work with me. Uh, let's see the hierarchy. So, Moutinho, Subasic, and Falcao are the team leaders. Ragi, Raji, Fabinho, Lamar, Glick, and Sidibe are highly influential. Uh, okay, so, I mean, nothing too out of the ordinary. Thomas Lamar is going to want to leave, and that's going to be annoying, though. So I, I assume Arsenal is going to come in this transfer window or next. Uh, we'll have to see how that works out. Core social groups. So you see the big guys up here. Um, secondary, Tielemans, Diakabe, Dia... God, I can't even read that. Um, Balde and Maite. Okay. So, happiness meter. Slightly happy. But you've got... Ragi is delighted. But he's not very happy. John Moutinho is very happy. So, okay, well, we've got a lot of fairly okays. So they can't have a team meeting because they're all on vacation. So my tactics. I've, I've got three tactics that I have been playing around with on the Leipzig save. Again, head on over to Football Manager Blog's YouTube channel. Check that out. But for right now, you'll see I've got a 4-2-3-1 wide, which is the what I usually play with. Um, but I've also been trying out a 4-1-2-3 DM wide or a 4-3-3, whatever you want to call it. I've not had success with that just yet, but hopefully soon. I'm still tweaking it a little. The other has been a 4-4-2. Um, especially, okay, let's forget that for a minute. Especially with, we have Jovetic and we have Falcao, who are both perfectly suited for the, for the striking position, so... Um, in neither of these do we have, neither of these other two do we have a real allowance for two strikers. Uh, here you, we can play one of them. Jovetic, I think, can, he can play behind Falcao, so we can do that kind of thing. Um, so we're going to have to see. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, this is, but this is the first time I'm actually going to be doing my own tactics. I'm going to try my best not to dive into the database, or not the database, the, you know, downloading of other tactics that seem to work. Uh, I may take a look at them just to see why the, some of them work, but I'm going to be doing my own tactics with my own team and see how things go from there, so. So, that is the team. What I'm going to do, let's see, look at the schedule. I got this, even though I've got a Leipzig save going on, I am still confused to hell out of all this new stuff, so. Um... So here you can see we got a bunch of friendlies here. I don't know why there's a venue, Arsenal, uh, no venue. I really hope that doesn't mean he's, they're coming into Thomas Lamar. We've got, what, six friendlies? One, two, three, six, yeah, six friendlies. And then we have the Trophy de Champion. I, I'm, yeah, I'm butchering these French names. I do apologize. So we have the trophy before our Toulouse first game in the in the league. I'll do the first friendly for this, this save right now, or for this episode right now in Würzburg. 
and then we'll get the next episode we'll see the the trophy uh the trophy match so let's get to it okay for some reason i'm trying to get johnny in from vigo uh on a transfer and at what is it 839 they vigo says they stall over johnny bid uh they're trying to keep their options open receive a better offer but then at 901 apparently they got no better offer and johnny's bid was accepted so i that's a weird one but stay tuned to find out more about that saga so before we get into this match, here are the team dynamics again. You can see leaders Matinho, Subasic, and Falcao, like we've already said. Uh, they basically my player liaison officer, Thierry, uh, Thierry Kroos, whatever, uh, has put together a report on my dynamics of the team. Basically, I, he says I should understand the hierarchy before I go into team meetings. And uh, so basically, these are the players, the, the team leaders and the highly influential players at least, are the ones that I need to kind of make sure I keep happy. So, Ragi, Fabinho, Lamar, Glick, and Siribe are the others. So let's introduce ourselves to the squad. I want to take the time to say hi. I'm very positive about our chances that we can go into win the title of the season. Everyone seems to love that's exactly the sort of reaction I was after. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, there, no one was extremely miserable with us anyway, but beforehand, so. But that does that, and that was the quickest team meeting I've ever had. Okay, ladies and gents, just before we get into this game, uh, game's coming up next, I did want to confirm, Johnny has signed. We have a 23-year-old fullback. He plays all three spots in the back. He is not an exceptional player, but he is a good backup, a good rotation player. Uh, I, definitely someone to, great to have on the bench pretty much every game. So we will see how he does, but we have our first transfer window activity. We'll just have to see what else we do in the meantime. But the funny thing is, I do have to say, normally when you bring in a new player, you ask your captain, can you, you, know, can you introduce him to the squad, bring him in a little more, uh, just so he feels comfortable. Well, I asked Falcao to do it. Falcao said, I'd be happy to do it, but I think you'd, you'd rather have Gian Moutinho do it. I said, okay, I'll take your word for it, so I will ask him to do it. There's no option to have him do it, so I don't... It says you have asked uh, you have asked Falcao if he'd be willing to welcome Johnny to the club. Um, I don't know how to actually get Falcao to do it. I've gone to... I mean, not Falcao, um, Moutinho to do it. I've gone to his, his uh, interactions. You can request tutoring... You can get advice on player signings and staff. Um, I do like the advice. You can re recommend possible future staff role. That's pretty nice. I don't. I don't think seventeen had that, but I'm very happy with that. But ambassadorial duties, praise player, warm player. I mean, great. But how the hell do I actually have him w welcome Johnny to the team? Anyway, so let's just screw that and let's just get into this first friendly. We are going with the uh, four-two-three-one wide. I think. Everything is pretty much set. Jamerson, unfortunately, because he's only supposed to be playing 45 minutes because he's just coming back from an injury. Let's see, who do we bring in? Let's see, Ragi. Ragi. Okay, so here's our team for our first ever friendly with Monaco. Subasic in back. Jorge or George? I don't know. Where's George from? He is... Uh, oh, he's Brazilian, so... I'm going to go with Jorge. Jorge, Raji, Glick, and Sidibe in back. Moutinho and Fabinho in the midfield. Balde, Jovetic, and Lamar as the attacking mids with Falcao up front. Let's submit this team and go. My favorite screen of all time. Look at that. Got the graphics in and everything. So let's go to the dressing room. Hand it over to the assistant because it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, but I will go... Let's just go calm. Show me why you want to be on the team. So everyone's pretty good. Let's kick this baby off. Got the nice little warm-up screen. I will say, I did say this on my Leipzig save, which I will probably have posted already by now, that the graphics do look improved. I'm not so sure they're 100%, you know, incredible. Um, I guess looking at it here, it looks a little better. So, and I don't like how the sound cucked out during these pause moments. Subasic with the ball. 
And Marty Jovetic, Matinho. This might be a little fast for my eyes. My old eyes. Sidibe, okay. So yeah, you guys need that finishing touch. So far, I'm not seeing it. Falco in, out. Oh. Straight to the keeper's legs. Probably should not have done that. And why are you doing that? Why are you kicking it up so far back? And, wow, I don't even know how you did not get that in. That is one of those shots that, if you don't get in, you should just be benched immediately. And again, work the ball in the box. We have that, right? Uh, no, we don't. What, uh, what the hell happened? Oh, because play up, no? I had to look for overlap and work for the ball in the box. Uh, there, oh. That's a nice try. Nice effort, we're getting there. 75% down the middle for them. We're somewhat split more on the left for us. Focus for attacks, so. Which is good. Thomas Lamar is on the left. You want the left? Yeah. You're not blowing my skirt up, people. Come on, we need to get some attacks going. Just at least work it around the box if you're not going to try and do anything with it, anything useful with it. Okay, look for the side, look for the overlap, there you go. Jorge, no, nobody's up front. Nope, again. Uh, that could have been a foul. You've already got subs, that's interesting. Sidibe lost possession more than any other player on his team. Glick won back possession more. A uh, good number of touches on the ball in the penalty area. Yes, but you're not doing anything with the penalty area. So, 6-6 six, six for Raji, I'm going to bring him off. Tielemans, I think I'm going to bring for Matinho. Uh, advanced player. Why do we have two? No, we got a ball. Box to box. Fabinho, let's do roaming. That seemed to work better for, for me earlier. I don't know what that was. Lamar, you can't even... You've got to be able to do better than that. Oh, wait. Is Lamar on the right side? Jeez. Look at all the guys behind the line. Behind the ball, though. Is Mourinho in charge? There we go. Didn't go in, but it at least it was a shot straight at the keeper. Again. Ooh! Balde had quite a shot there. I don't know if that was a shot or that was supposed to be to someone. Hey, come on. Okay, I'm pausing it. Look at the analysis. So, our attacking is all... In the midfield. Yeah, because I mean they're sitting behind. So positive clean sheet. We have most of the ball. We're not getting good shots in, but we are getting some shots in. And I don't even know who that was to. There was nobody in the area. Oh Falcao! Just slipped it by Hessel, the keeper. I mean, Lamar, what are you doing? Who is that too? There's literally nobody out there. Even one of the Würzburg players had to run out to get it. But Glick just steals it. Falcao in. Hessel just cannot deal with it. So I guess there's another positive. We do have a little fight in us. We're not just sitting back and saying, eh, screw it. Nice job, Tielmans. Oh! Great shot. That would have been terrific. Lamar again into nobody. I have a feeling that FM18 right now, so far at least, is going to have an issue with set pieces and corners because I've had I've seen this in the Leipzig save. There's no reason for them to put a you know a corner into nobody. Six minutes at a time. Jeez, I was not expecting it to have so much. Wow, there you go, T. Elemans. First goal for Monaco. What a shot. Sidibe passes it, or hands it, or throws it into Jovetic, gets it into Maite, and then Tielemont, <laughs> Balde actually steals it and passes it backwards to Tielemont, who slams it home. So, it's past six minutes. They have definitely had their chances. What was Hansen doing right there? 
little dance. This should be it. Final throw of the game. And there we go. 2-0 over Wurzburg. I predicted a win. They duly delivered. Um, 22 shots, 8 on target. Really didn't pick up till the second half. 17 inter interceptions made for Glick. He is going to be a star player. And whatever. They all seem motivated. I've got nothing specific to say right now. Um, i got to see next time if they say what they're going to say. Because in FM17 it would say, this is what I suggest you telling all the lads. And then if you go with them, they'll tell it. But this did not work out in my favor. But I think that will do it. First episode all done, we hammered... Well, I never consider a 2-0 win a hammering, but... We hammer Würzburg. Würzburg. Uh, let us see the schedule. So I'm going to run through these friendlies. I am going to pick it up against PSG, of course. Why wouldn't it be PSG? In the Trophy de Champion. I know, my French is stellar. I, I mean, I should just move there right now and, and not worry about English anymore. So that is what it's going to be. I'm going to pick up all these ones. I The Arsenal one I'm probably going to show you as a highlight because that's going to be interesting. Um, so at least we get to play Millsboro. So anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more of the, the Monaco save and a couple more things in the works, obviously, like I said. And again, don't forget to head on over to the Football Manager blog channel and check out not only the Leipzig save, but uh, my friend Hyperion FM is going to be doing some stuff too, and we're going to be doing uh, some collaboration work. So head on over there, subscribe if you haven't already, check out some other stuff, and uh, enjoy. Enjoy.